Milton wrote the other 51. How do you write like you're running out of time? Write day and night like you're running out of time. Write day and night like you're needing to survive. Every day and night like you're trying to survive. How do you write like you're running out of time? Write day and night like you're needing to survive. Right, that was very cringe. That was very upsetting of me. I'm sorry. But all I've, all I've seen on it, of, of Hamilton, is on TikTok. And now I decided to go onto Disney Plus and watch the movie from 2020. The movie that took the world by storm from the 2016 New York play. That is not what I thought this movie was. I'm going to be honest. I did not think this movie was literally just a recording of the 2016 Hamilton Broadway musical that took place in New York. I genuinely thought it was like a movie version of the Broadway play. But that was not how it is. That was not how it was in my case, unfortunately. I got that aspect wrong. So, Hamilton. It has an 8.3 out of 10 IMDb and a 98% of Rotten Tomatoes. It is a musical drama which is 2 hours and 40 minutes, so practically 3 hours. The original Broadway production of the award-winning musical that tells the story of Alexander Hamilton, first secretary of the treasury, blending hip-hop, jazz, R&B, and Broadway styles, filmed for the Richard Rogers Theatre in New York. Right, that tells us nothing about the story, but the story, I'm literally, it's a three hour movie, so I'm going to condense it into like a minute max. So Hamilton is a dude who basically, he's an orphan, and he wants to get into college, and he meets a group of guys when he's in a pub one night, he gets, he, ba he bands with them, basically, he gets together, he rallies them up, and they're all wanting to sort of rebel against the British, and the, the sort of government. So they band together, they get together, they start a war, they fight the British, they beat the British, and he, they make the amendments, and they think the amendments are all mediocre and that they need to be fixed. So they write, like, the 51 stories, and Hamilton writes, like, 48 of them. He writes way too fucking many of them. And he gets the girl, he falls out with his mate, and I do believe he gets killed in the end. Um, again, I was very tired. I watched this from, like, 11 till 1, so I was very, very tired by the time this finished. So I, 9th century died at the end, and it was literally non-fucking-stop singing. They sang every fucking line of this for three hours. I think that is so fucking bold and so fucking good. Like... If you listen to the Hamilton soundtrack on Spotify, you are listening to the whole fucking thing again. It is three hours. You are literally listening to the whole play, the whole musical again. When I hear musical in my head, what comes to mind is like Frozen is like high school musical where they can have these talking sections and where they can just talk like I'm talking now. They can just have regular conversations with the occasional musical number where they go into song and dance and do like the whole sort of shebang with the sort of set changes, costume changes and sort of running around singing their head off about their love life. Like that's what I think of when I think musical. But this is singing from start to finish. Three hours. How are their voices still holding up? How do they have the lung capacity? Like, Angel from, like, Has Been Hotel has some good lung capacity. But, jeez, these guys here can, can, can definitely out-lung, out like, Angel, no fucking doubt. And... There was so many famous faces here. There's the guy from the new Transformers movie. He makes an appearance here. There is, like, Hamilton's actor himself. He makes an appearance in a couple of other movies and, like, does loads of other movies. So these are, like, full-fledged actors who are doing this. And, like, some actors which I didn't even know could fucking sing, to be fair. But they can. And there is so many different types of songs. And they're all so catchy. And when I was, like, watching this, I was like, Wait, holy shit, that's from TikTok. That's the sound from TikTok. Holy shit, I've, I've made a TikTok to that sound. That's from this. That that sounds from this. That sounds here. This There's like some sounds on TikTok that you know are from Hamilton, but then there's others where I was watching it. I'm like, holy shit, that's from this as well. TikTok absolutely fucking adores Hamilton. Like, TikTok eats Hamilton up for breakfast. Like, there is so many Hamilton sort of references and TikToks and, like, sounds. I was so shocked to see how many of them were actually from Hamilton. And 
I hate saying it, you know I do, you know I hate saying it, like, oh, TikTok made me watch this, and I, I was watching it, and I'm like, oh shit, that's where I got that from, that's, this was, this movie's on TikTok, and I've mentioned it in a couple of other videos, where I've watched, like, an old movie, and I've seen a little clip of it on TikTok, and it's like, holy shit, that's where that's from, and, holy shit, TikTok is, like, just Hamilton, like, uh, TikTok is, is Hamilton core, like, honestly, there is that much Hamilton on TikTok, you could probably call it Hamilton talk, it, it is insane, and the whole reason I watch this is because literally one guy I follow on TikTok does so much Hamilton content that I'm like, you know what, it, it, it seems fucking decent, let's give it a watch, and I'm gonna be honest, I regretted it, I regretted watching it, this movie was not for me, the soundtrack, fucking banger. Not all the songs slap, I will be honest. Most songs were pretty mediocre, but some songs slapped, and some parts of other songs slapped as well. There were some absolute bops in here, but there was also its fair share of flops, which, you know, obviously not every song is going to be an absolute smash hit, like Chart Topper, but it was so, I don't know, it was so off-putting to me that they were constantly singing, like, it's an impressive feat of, like, their ability, yes. It's impressive that they sang for three hours. But watching it, I was there, and it was so jarring that they were constantly singing. And, I don't know, I just didn't like the, the fact that there was constantly singing. There was no, like, sort of just normal talking to break it up. There was always some, like, backing music. There was always some sort of undertones of, like, singing to their voice. They could never just have a normal conversation, and it bugged me a little bit that they could never just talk normally and that they were constantly singing it felt like there was like an alternative world where they like were constantly singing you know where there's like those skits on youtube tiktok and like vine where it's like what if we was in a world where we constantly sang it it sort of gives that sort of vibes and i i didn't like it i it felt odd strange and very uncomfortable i don't know why i just didn't enjoy it it, it was just it's just not for me this form of content and this style of media isn't enjoyable to me yes i like frozen yes i like moana yes i like those types of musicals but when it is singing from start to finish and there's like two two three hours of content there that's like a, a good like 25 songs like back to back to back and yes i can sit and listen to my spotify playlist i can sit and listen to my spotify playlist draw but i'm doing something else when i'm doing that i am like not fully listening to the music like i listen to music when i'm in the shower i listen to music when i'm playing games i, I listen to music when i'm doing something it's I, I i'm always doing something else when i listen to music as like background noise or I listen to like podcasts or just have YouTube on in the background as like background noise. I I don't know. I it was it was I don't know. I, I just can't. I, I, I just couldn't with it. I just couldn't do it with Hamilton. And yes, I watched it all. Be proud of me that I stuck through it and that, that I watched it all. Cause the acting was fucking brilliant. Like the background dancers deserve so much fucking credit because they're all fucking badasses in their own right. Like seeing them do all the background dancing sort of do all the set changes and sort of move all the props around whilst also just being in the background and trying to act like they're doing their own thing in the background like it is so fucking cool and so much props to them because they're in the background and they just have to act like that they're, they're, they're just being normal and doing normal stuff and then they just break out into dance it is so fucking cool because I think it's harder to remember a dance routine and have a dance routine that spans for three hours long. That's fucking incredible. That is fucking wild to be able to do all that in the background and not even be the main focus of the show. To, to learn all that and do all that effort to not even be the main focus is such bravery and such commitment that I don't think I have. And I hate to say it, but I think Hamilton is a 4 out of 10. There is some slap songs, there is some slap visuals, but I just couldn't do it. I, I just couldn't. It was too much song and dance. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please don't kill me. <laughs>